This is the whoa! This is the Australian brown tree snake. Now these guys are actually often killed, unfortunately, because they um, people mistake them for the deadly brown eastern brown snake, which we get around here as well. And um, but these guys are actually harmless. They are venomous, but they're not considered dangerous, and they will bite you. And you can kind of see here he's pretty feisty right now. Um, but they're an absolutely amazing specimen, especially this one. They're also called the night tiger, and you can probably tell why. Probably don't need to tell you why they're called that. They are a nocturnal species, so you don't normally find them during the day. I actually found two here, which I've never seen them before, and then suddenly two pop up, which is incredible. And they're just here, oh, they're just kind of in this kind of environment, the wet, dry, sclerophyll. They're a tree snake. So they live in the trees and they hunt the frogs. I'm just by a creek here. So here, this would be an awesome spot for him. And I'll look at him. I, I named this one Arroyo. And then the other one I caught, I named Raymond. Well, look at him. Look at him. He's trying to bite me. Oh, mate, look at the camera. Bite the camera. I love it when they try to bite the camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get too high. Woo. There we go. Sniff the camera, mate. There we go. You can see their face. Now, an easy way to identify these ones from the brown snake is these guys, well, they're a tree snake. Brown, eastern browns can't really climb. And their heads on these ones are larger than their body. Well, they're larger than their body, which is not really common for Australian snakes. Usually the head is sort of a little bit smaller or the same sort of size. This bloke's head is very obviously larger and it's kind of like a triangle shape. And um, one of the simple rules that I get with, unfortunately a lot of snakes here in Australia are killed because people have an um, irrational fear of them. Um, and also they're deadly, so you know, if you've got children, I sort of understand that. But um, a simple rule that you can go by is don't kill them and they won't kill you. 90% of, I think it's something like 90% of um, snake bites in Australia. Sorry, I cut out there. What I said was um, about 90% of snake bites in Australia are the result of somebody trying to pick up, handle, or kill, which is, it's normally kill uh, a snake. So if you just don't try to kill them, uh, it's about a 90% reduction in bites. Uh, and, you know, a bite isn't, been, isn't a fun thing to get, especially if they're a dangerous snake. So you just need a mutual respect, and if you've got that going, she'll be right. Here's the other bloke. 